they were not supposed to be there. Yet a squad of known bandits was discovered prowling around an art gallery in Oregon. And I'm here in front of Newport News City Hall, where the Virginia Citizens Defense League is rallying against proposed gun control laws. Norfolk Police and Norfolk Citizens for Accountable Policing will be working together very soon to make their city a better place. A group of Virginia police officers accused of using excessive force was in federal court. Today, the defense requested that the court refrain from using, quote, colorful language like the word murder. This all stems from an incident back in 2013 in the small town of South Boston. And tonight, newly released video shows the officers using a taser on a man several times. Less than two hours later, he was dead. As Jeff Pegas reports, the man's family feels the video proves exactly how he died. The story about Go Green Auto Care's efforts to recycle water has been airing all day. The shop uses an ultraviolet water purifier to filter rainwater collected in their gutters. Kelly Rule even gave it a taste. Employees at Go Green Auto Care say they drink the water themselves, so that leaves a big question. What does it really taste like? I figured I'd give it a try. But the city of Newport News condemned the auto shop for two days, saying they were violating building codes. The business responded by going on a water strike. If you missed the story, you can catch it on WTKR.com. A local group is taking action to try and save the SS United States, a steamliner built right here in Hampton Roads. For years, the ship has sat at a pier in Philadelphia waiting for a permanent plan to save it. But now, the Conservancy to save the ship says if they don't raise more money by the end of this month, the SS United States could end up in the scrapyard. It's always been in the back of everybody's mind that at some point, you know, the, the ship is a liability tied up to the pier. And at some point, if you don't have money to cover your insurance and cover your pier slips and all that, you just can't sustain that model. The group trying to save the ship says there is a development plan to turn the ship into a museum and mix of restaurants and shops. But all that is dependent on raising enough money to save it in the meantime. They were not supposed to be there, yet a squad of known bandits was discovered prowling around an art gallery in Oregon. So was it a burglary in progress or a simple act of instinct? Police in Oregon made the final decision after responding to the break-in last night. Take a look at what they found. The usual suspects, four raccoons who police call by their street names, Home Dog, The Nails, Squeaky Feet, and Two Toes Todd. With eyes glaring back at the camera, these critters knew they were caught very handed After a brief chase and scuffle, authorities say the raccoons were captured and no one was hurt. In the control room, Aaliyah Williamson, News Channel 3. Ferguson and Baltimore, two cities ripped apart by charges of police brutality and racial unrest. That's why this group, known as the Norfolk Citizens for Accountable Policing, will be working hard to make sure that something like this never happens here. We've heard reports of police harassing, stereotyping, profiling, over-arresting, and brutalizing African Americans in Norfolk for decades. The group created this petition that they presented at the city council meeting. Our requests are presented tonight with over 350 signatures submitted on these attached pages. Leader Connie Hanna explains why these demands are crucial. And I found that there are 46% of our citizens here in Norfolk, Norfolk that are black, and our police department is, is only 16% black. So I shared that information with several of my friends, and they said, well, that leads to a lot of problems here in, in Norfolk right now and the potential for additional problems down the line. According to Norfolk Police, there's already progress taking place including community events, fair and impartial policing training, and constant recruitment. Despite these concerns, the group specifically says they are not anti-police. We want our hardworking officers to be seen positively, not feared. Norfolk Police and Norfolk Citizens for Accountable Policing will be working together very soon to make their city a better place. Aaliyah Williamson for News Channel 3. Owners use signs such as this one to warn intruders that their house is protected. However, in this situation, it wasn't enough. October 14th, a man forced his way into a home on Brenlam Circle in Virginia Beach. 
Luckily, the security system caught the culprit on camera, but that didn't stop him from getting away with $1,300 in electronics. The victims would not speak to us, but the neighbors had plenty to say. In our neighborhood, on just about everyone on our street has uh, alarm systems, and we're all um, active in neighborhood watch. We all have kids. We're all outside all the time. My so, pretty shocked. My they plan to step their security up to avoid any future problems. One of the new doorbells with the alarm and the video, so that is getting installed as soon as possible. The cameras caught a very clear picture of the burglar. Police are asking if you have any information, contact them at 1-800-LOCK-YOU-UP. Aaliyah Williamson for News Channel 3. This is Aaliyah Williamson and I'm here in front of Newport News City Hall where the Virginia Citizens Defense League is rallying against proposed gun control laws. Those opposed to the laws came armed and ready to fight for their Second Amendment rights. Philip Van Cleve, president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League, traveled from Richmond, Virginia to protest. Any time that our rights, uh, the right to keep and bear arms comes under attack, uh, our group takes that quite seriously and we show up wherever we need to show up to, uh, to do our best to make sure that those rights are not infringed. Newport News residents, however, feel differently about guns on their streets. It's about accountability because there has to be some. You know, it, it's, it's just outrageous what is going on in our country right now. The council has decided not to continue with the proposal. The measure failed five votes to two. This doesn't mean the conversation is over, as the council has promised to revisit the matter later. In Newport News, Aaliyah Williamson, News Channel 3.